on floors and installation. Schedule now. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today. Thank you for turning to 10. This is Southern New England's News Leader. Decisive victories for the front runners on Super Tuesday have those candidates already looking toward November. We'll have that story and the story of the car that crashed into a crowded restaurant in Massachusetts. West Warwick police have highlighted two incidents where officers were faced with what turned out to be replica guns. And that's where we'll begin our coverage this Wednesday afternoon. Thank you for joining us on NBC10 News at Noon. You may have heard of the term suicide by cop. Well, West Warwick police came face to face with that type of situation twice recently. They found out later the guns used were replicas. NBC10's Kerry Carrado spoke to police about how they were able to defuse those situations. Kerry? Well, Frank, their training kicked in. They were able to disarm both individuals. Later, they found out they were airsoft guns, but in the heat of the moment, they look real. West Warwick police posted this picture of two guns side by side. The frames and barrels look similar, especially from afar. But the one on the top is a replica, and the one on the bottom is real. The West Warwick police showed NBC 10 an airsoft replica gun that was used in one of two incidents they were faced with recently. These types of guns shoot little pellets, not bullets. Uh, the individual called us to say, I have a 45 caliber handgun. Uh, and he wanted the police to respond. And when we asked him uh, why, he said they'll find out when they get here. Police say both times the two people indicated suicide by cop. It's a term that used when, when an individual, you know, tries to get the police, induce the police into to shooting them. Obviously, these individuals, they, they, their intent was clear. They wanted the police to come and, and engage them and, and possibly shoot them. In the heat of the moment, your adrenaline's rushing. How are you supposed to know whether it's a replica gun or a real gun? You really, you really can't tell. So you have to base it upon you know, your interaction with the individual and the behavior of the individual. Officers were trained to deal with situations like this. Even though the guns looked real at the time, they didn't shoot. They were able to disarm both individuals and bring them into custody. There were no injuries. It clearly demonstrates the challenges that officers face on a daily basis. This is a test. This station is participating in a coordinated monthly test of the Rhode Island Operational Area Emergency Alert System. The Rhode Island broadcasters, in cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities, have developed this system to provide immediate warning, information, or instructions. Had this been an actual emergency, the attention signal you just heard would have been followed by official news, information, or instructions. This concludes this test. Although technically there's four more months left in the primary season, Donald Trump basically declared it's over after racking up seven more states in Super Tuesday voting yesterday. Once we get all of this finished, I'm going to go after one person. That's Hillary Clinton. I am so delighted to be here with you in Florida. Hillary Clinton's also moved on to only concentrating on Trump after she too picked up seven more states Tuesday. Instead of building walls, we're going to break down barriers. Both Clinton and Trump move on to another set of big primaries on the 15th that includes Florida. That may be the last stand for Marco Rubio, who finally won a state Tuesday, but only won Minnesota. And like other Republican hopefuls, is being asked by Ted Cruz, who won three states Tuesday, to consider bowing out and backing him. That is the only way to beat Donald Trump. There's nobody, nobody that's going to beat us. A feat that no one's quite figured out how to do so far. Chris Clackham, NBC News.
Now let's get our first noon hour check of the weather here on the Noon Report this uh, Wednesday day after the big election, Kelly. Hey, good afternoon, Frank. Well, the skies are starting to clear out there right now as we look out our People's Credit Union Skycam Network. Live at the 210 Oyster Bar and Grill in Wakefield. Temperature still hanging on to that 50 degree mark. We're at 50 degrees there in Wakefield. Winds are out of the northwest around 17 miles per hour. Those winds have shifted. And as we continue to go through the remainder of the afternoon, we will start to see that colder air moving in. You can see uh, that indicated by the snow out in New York State at this point. That's obviously not going to make its way here, but the rain has moved 